I've never felt so hard before, before I started recording. So before we start, this is a true horror story. I was running from my room, excited to play this new game I got from a developer. Running to the kitchen to get grab a, bu a bucket of water <laughs> so I can drink it. Oh, all of it! Then, before EJ realizes, he slipped on pee. <laughs> Welcome to Bohemian Killing. So let's get started. Ooh, I put this game on the lowest like quality because I didn't know what to expect, but I should have put it higher. <laughs> and oh my God, even then it still looks beautiful. My goodness. All right, what's going on here? Read book for f for 15 minutes. Ah, what the heck? Why not? Did I kill somebody? There's been a murder up in my house. Somebody in here. <gasps> oh. What? <laughs> that face, dude. Oh god. He murdered somebody. Oh, her, his wife. Or is this this girl? This hoochie. I've been watching way too many delirious videos. Oh no. LM what? I came by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. I just murdered somebody? But I read a book before, so it's okay. What? Monsieur Eaton. I like the game so far. Monsieur Killing people Eaton, is fun. I'm talking to you. Oh god. I'm sorry, Monsieur le Président. I, I was thinking. Uh, skipping court you scenes on your first play three is not recommended. Okay. Sorry, but I have to ask the prosecutor to repeat. Monsieur Eaton. No, I, I definitely killed her. I, I took the knife and just jabbed it in her throat like multiple times. There's multiple blood splatters. What? Push your butcher for the This is cool. I like this. What? That's outrageous. I'd never done such a thing. Never. I took the knife and just jabbed it in her throat. Ah, my... Which took place at the Oh, at the Caucasus I, I don't know about you, but I woke up in the middle of nowhere and it just killed somebody. I, I, I should go to jail. Like, even I would admit that. <laughs> just saying. Someone is a, I'm gonna my dog. Keep listening. Don't worry about it. I'm paying attention to the game. The accused returned to his house. Buddy. Coming with me. Going to jail. Downtown, the funky town. Best pay attention, shut up. Uh, I didn't do that. I did none of that. I just stabbed her in the, in the throat. I didn't do anything weird like that. What's up? With, what's up with all these lies? I just killed her. That's all I did. Done deal. Did you see her? Did you were you here? Can you be my person who witnessed the metal rod lying in the room and hit the accused on the head, which caused a real threat to his life and I didn't do any of this. May have caused this is false false accusation. You can go to jail, I'll sue you. When the clerk went to get some water to calm Marie Capé, she I went to get some water. I, I didn't disappear, I just slipped on the ground. October, about eight oh god, this is what I did. A maid found her body in a room rented by Alfred Eaton. After I read the book, you can't forget about that part. With a oh. blade of about 14 centimeters length. That's pretty long. The That's like two seven meters. centimeters. The accused shall be liable to life imprisonment. Or, 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 or you could and just buy me a cup of tea and forget about all this, right, man? We're all men here. Does the accused plead guilty to the yes. charges against him? I am guilty. Does the accused want to provide explanation? We no. No, I just stabbed her in the throat because I felt like it. But a problem there. After hours and hours of waiting. Here we go. Good, 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 good point. Good, good, good point. Uh... We gotta go. Uh, we, we go to the. I don't want to enter the building. Uh, this place looks way more interesting than that. I decided to go for an evening walk. Uh, whoa! So whatever I do now, 
dictates what happens in the future. What's up, man? I entered the Café de Paris Cafeteria. Oh, I got beat up. I wanted to drink some good wine and eat a piece of cheese. So just, of just a piece of cheese. No, Monsieur President. I decided no, Mr. President. it was not worth losing my time. And where is that? A second of my work. If I got beat up, I wouldn't be telling people. I mean, if I got beat up, I wouldn't be telling people. That would put my pride very low in my rep in the States. Very low. I gotta keep my homies keep in touch, you know. Gotta make sure they know I'm the high mighty. I did enter the building. I did remember that quite well. Can you shut up? Stop making a racket back there. Who do you think you're doing? Can I make a quality video here? Comprende? Oh, wait. This <laughs> Spanish. All right, then, then I would look at this bike. What am I doing? I'm being so racist right now. And then I checked my mail. I don't even know if that was my mail. I just clicked a random thing. That could have been like my mother's. My client has supposedly intended to use this device to talk to her helpless <laughs> So funny. Hasty. I'm wearing shorts and that hurt. <laughs> I just fell like. 10 minutes ago, slipped on somebody's not pee. Found any support from Ministère de la Justice, so he decided to test it on an innocent woman. Yeah, I think that's proper. That the mere fact of an offer to the Minister de la Justice does not constitute sufficient <laughs> evidence that the allegedly accused acted in good faith <laughs> in creating such a device. God dang. Dogs distracting me nowadays. Ah, we oui, we. Oui. I still I'm still beat up. Then I open the door. Then I open the door. Then I close the door. I closed the inner door. <laughs> and then I, and then I closed the the other door. The inner door. Ooh, sounds intense so far. And then I look at go shopping. I don't know what I did. Oh, okay. Uh, since I couldn't get the the cheese I got from the other one, I got I got it from this cheap vending machine thing. <laughs> And then, and then, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I can't buy everything. God dang it. All right. and, I, and I went back up. Right? I knocked, but no one answered. <laughs> I knocked a random door and nobody answers. But well, jeez, I wonder why. <laughs> I knocked at Monsieur Brissot's door. Monsieur Brissot. Do you always visit your neighbors? <laughs> oh my god. Why are you so close to my face? Oh, hey, someone's in there. Do I kill him too? Then, then he, he let me. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, I can, I can crouch. Can I jump? Dang it! Ooh, hey baby. What? What? I think this guy is the actual killer. God, this guy's creepy. Um, and then I, then I, Sparta kicked the door. No, okay. Then they got to the re re read. And I took it because I'm a Frenchman. Do what I want. Oh, wait, what? Did I find another achievement? Or oh, achievement? Uh, testimony? Yeah, I did. The evidence, yeah. Evidence number 10. Am I missing some th stuff? Or is it like in different order? Monsieur le Président, this is the evidence marked with number 10. It is a letter sent by <laughs> is that how this works? organization to Monsieur Brissot, which, as it was said in the letter, cultivated traditions of the French nobility and was sending Madame Capet as servant for free. The letter was sent several days before the murder. So the question arises, who had really sent Marie Capet to Monsieur Brissot? And what were their intentions? Uh, thank you for the clarification. The accused may continue oh. to testify. It's time for me to actually act into something. 